So here is how everything is looking in the living room. Look who I'm with. Hey! It looks perfect with the Neptune candle on top. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope you enjoy watching. I am in a rush and I'm like out of breath because I've been rushing to get ready. I've just got home from school. I'm starting the vlog off today on a very random Wednesday. I've just got home from school, rushed to like top up my makeup. I didn't really have time to like do much. I've just like put a little bit more powder on, re curled my hair a little bit, added this bow popped on this new Hollister dress from ASOS, excuse the mess in the background, I just don't have time to tidy it, because I am on my way to a little Instagram event in Manchester, it's with housing units, so, so some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I've been to them before, they usually do them in spring and autumn, and they always invite me along to their events, and you can see all like the new spring stock, or autumn stock in this case, new spring collection, furniture, home decor pieces, that sort of stuff, there's like a goodie bag, there's free food and drink, there's music, ice cream, it's a really really good night. And I'm going with the girlies as well, I'm going with Helena, Becca and Rage, and I'm sure we'll see some other familiar Instagram faces when we're there as well. And I am just on my way to pick up Helena, it's my turn to drive this time to Manchester and I am so late. So I should have been at Helena's six minutes ago and I've not set off yet, so yeah, need to get going. But yeah, I think this could be my third time going now. Third or fourth, I'm not sure. And I've never actually vlogged at one before, so I thought it'd be nice to take you guys along with me today and you can see what we get up to. So it'll be nice to see the girls as well. And nice to just do something on a on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Loving this dress from Hollister. It's like it's like cheesecloth material and then the sleeves are a sheer, I don't know if you can see. It's meant to be £50 on ASOS, but it was reduced to 29 or like 20 something which I thought was a real good bargain. It's got this detailing here It goes in at the waist and it's got this little slit which I love and I've just got it on with Converse for kind of like a chilled but still Put together look. <laughs> I'll pick up Helena now and then I will catch up with you in a little bit We've arrived. Look who I'm with. Hey! Back with my partner in crime <laughs> And we're just hey. Oh, it looks so pretty Blossoms for the Blossoms Ho! <laughs> did we do this? Oh, so I must have vlogged last time. Because I thought I haven't vlogged before. Oh, exciting! Oh, that's cute. I can't have a cocktail. Oh, I'll be on that. Alcohol free. Pink lemonade. What are you going to go for? Mojito. Love a Look who it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this spread. There's burgers. We've got everything. I remember the food being so good last time, wasn't it? Let's see it on the, let's see it on the. <laughs> Cute little bit. Look at the, look at the blossom. Oh, that was my face. I actually thought you were zooming in saying, look at the blossom's home. Oh, no. <laughs> Really you actually awesome. met the blossoms. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> so we've just had our food. We had burgers, chips, kalumbi, potato salad, all the carbs basically. <laughs> and I'm on lemonade because I'm designated driver. And it's on mojito. Oh, just one look, I'm driving. I'm driving. So this is the first trend, but I am just a little bit in love with this scalloped bowl. Quite low. These can be mixed and matched with any combinations, any colours, so that you could have. You give it a test. <laughs> Have a little sit down. Oh, comfort level out of ten. <laughs> yeah. I like this colour. Yeah, I like the I like the beige. Look at those scallop glasses. They're really cute, aren't they? Yeah. This is cute. Imagine in summer, like. Oh yeah. Wine sangria. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, like that uneven. You do not need any more plates. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I 
Are you enjoying the event so far? Yes. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you be on the vlog? I'm also, Did yeah. Vlog I'm also in. I, I've got to say, vlog, that it's the first time I've met a real life vlogger and it's incredible. <laughs> it's really made my evening. <laughs> I know. I, I thought they all died off after like 2012. I know, YouTube, we're, we're still around. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> so thank you very much. You're I welcome. hope I get in it. You I'm will. I'm going to watch this when it comes out. You will. <laughs> Have you got an Instagram account? Shall tag it? Will you tag me as well? Uh, yeah, it's at Samtio Productions. If you go down in the description, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. So now we're back in the main building and we're going to have some cupcakes Yay. and some more drinks. Do you love cake? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all of this. <gasps> Watermelon sticks, mini egg cakes, like little trifles, a millionaire shop. Oh, yummy. Did you cook these? No. Oh, look at her. They are wonderful. The best millionaire shop I've ever tasted. Oh. These are really nice. Remember, the rest of it for these will be in the description. <laughs> We're just queuing up for this. It's called Look of the Claw. Oh, no! We all got a golden ticket when we arrived, and I think you can oh, go God. to this machine. It's like a claw machine, and then I think it picks out a number, and then if you win, then you can go to this table. And there's loads of prizes there, like Katie Loxton bits, afternoon tea vouchers, £20 vouchers. So hopefully, we win something. It looks like these are some little freebies that you can take. Margarita, bring it home for Jake, and I feel like you get the glass as well. Oh, these are dead cute, aren't they? And then they've got all these sodas as well that we're just allowed to take. We've got peach, lemon, rhubarb, elderflower, ginger beer, and cherry. Might get a cherry one, actually. I think I'm gonna go for one of these watermelon things. They remind me of those like watermelon lollies that you get on holiday. Ooh, I can't get it out. There we go. Ooh, how sorry is that? Cute. Do you want to win on the claw machine? I want to win. Do you want to win the glass cleaver? <laughs> No, because I'm rubbish at cleaning. Katie Loxton bag. That was smart. Shopping. <laughs> oh, it's nearly our turn. Straight in, Becca. First up is Becca. Didn't get anything. <laughs> Rachel's trying to see the prize. Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, hello. gutted, gutted. Right, we're going again. In again. Yeah. Rachel just won the spa day, of course she did. I'm not a To win the so spa. Like you now. Yeah. So <laughs> Do you know, as a kid, you got like the toys. I could never do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is Helena's tenth attempt. I think 
we did all right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we could have ended up with the glass cleaner, <laughs> and we didn't. So. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Go, <girl. laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, look at these goodie bags. I love the little setup. Hey guys, I'm home now. It was such a lovely evening with the girls. The housing unit events are always really good events. The food was amazing and the desserts and the drinks. And the decor was lovely as well. We had a little tour of the shop and like some new spring trends and things. And yeah, it was a really lovely evening. So I hope you enjoyed watching those little snippets. It's about half nine now and I am tired. I need to get in my PJs. So I'm gonna get in my PJs, probably have a brew, just relax and then go to sleep. Hey guys, so it's a few days later now and I've just been doing a spot of Easter styling as promised. I know I've been saying it for weeks and I finally had the time this morning. I got up nice and early just to do some Easter styling. I just wish I was feeling <laughs> a little bit better, like my throat. I've had this cough for like weeks now, this tickly cough, now it's going a little bit hoarse praying fingers crossed that it goes for the wedding day in two weeks because i cannot be coughing while saying my vows but yeah i'm feeling very spring like i'm in this cute little white dress that i popped on for filming but i'm actually like really hot so i actually might keep it on i've got a little abercrombie cardigan as well to go on top but i thought that i would just show you my easter styling in the living room because it just looks so cute and so neutral and i know you guys are gonna love it so here is how everything is looking in the living room let me just bring you over to to the main attraction, the Easter tree. I love an Easter tree around Easter time. I've used these cherry blossom stems that I got from Home Pieces I think a couple of years ago and I've popped my white company eggs on the branches, not all of them. There was a time when I may have popped all of them on but I'm thinking like less is more at the minute. I've just popped a few of them on. Some big glass eggs, some little glass eggs and then some like cream speckled ones and I think paired with the little blossom, like the, the flowers and the petals, I just think it looks so so gorgeous. You all thought I was going to say cute, didn't you? <laughs> I almost did, but yeah, it just looks stunning. I've got it in my Neptune vase. This table is the Cotswold Company one, and then I always have my little bunny on the bottom of the table there, as that's where the bunnies like to, like to nap when they were still with us. I've kept some same things here, like the vintage French pot and the star flowers and the White Company little tea light holder but of course I've added a little bunny these are the hobbycraft ones just the white ceramic ones I just pop them everywhere around Easter time and then over this side again I've kept the H&M flower plate that I got a few weeks back it looks perfect with the Neptune candle on top and I popped another little hobbycraft bunny there I've got a little bit of spring styling going on on the shelves as well and then I really love how this looks on the poof so this is my vase that I got from George as it was only £12 and I just think it looks so like vintagey. Like you know that pot there, that one is from a small business called Home at First Sight and she actually like sources old vintage rustic kind of pots, vases and things and sells them as like one-offs on her website so like once once you buy it it's gone because it's such like a vintage and like unique piece. And this from George Asda reminds me of of these things at home at first sight sells like it looks i said it last week but it looks so vintagey and rusticy it's the color in the handles i think it's giving it that look i've got these old hydrangeas in no idea where they're from but i absolutely love them they're just like the perfect color of creamy whites the leaves are really nice and they're they're not too long and not too big so they're perfect for like small to medium vases like this and I've got it on my Neptune tray. My White Company book is there. Then there's one of those DIY books that I made with the Lucy Annabelle wallpaper. I've got it on my poof from dusk. I always get questions about this poof. It is really gorgeous, I love it. I always get so happy and so excited when I have like a room refresh. I mean, it's raining right now, so it's not really giving me like the spring weather that I need. God, it best not be raining on the, on the wedding day, honestly. My mum did like a two week weather forecast and it did say sun and 12 degrees on the wedding day which would be perfect like not too hot not too cold bright skies like that is what i want i don't want it too hot because then you're sweating aren't you you don't want it too cold i do not want wind if it is windy i'll be so upset no i won't i'll just get over it if it's windy that that will be my worst weather i would rather it be raining than it be windy because when it's windy like at least when it's raining on the pictures you can kind of like not see the rain, but if it's windy, your hair's like blowing, it's getting caught in your lip gloss. Honestly, if it's windy, 
I'm praying that it's not windy. Touch wood, where's some wood? The poof leg. Touch wood, it's not windy because that would just be my worst weather ever. Yeah, I'm very excited to have some spring styling going on, some Easter styling going on at last. I hope you guys like what I've done in the living room and let me show you what I'm popping like elsewhere in the house as well. I've also just popped this gorgeous spring wreath on the inside of the front door because I do not want this getting wrecked in the bad English weather. A beautiful small business made this for me last year and I was completely in love with it. If I was a wreath, I would be this wreath, like it's just full of my favourite flowers, peonies and roses and blossoms and gypsophila and eucalyptus and little leaves, like it's absolutely stunning. So I'm so happy to get that back down again. It feels like spring now that this is back on the door. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Also guys, I wanted to show you this. So I ordered this from TK Maxx after Helena. My good friend Helena, the Blossoms Home, making me spend my money again. <laughs> she popped this on her story, a scalloped king size bedspread. It's meant to be like, I think it's meant to be like over 100 quid, but I had a voucher for TK Maxx as well. I think I got it for less than 20 pound or like just about 20 pound for a king size bedspread, the quilt cover and two cushion covers. Scalloped, white, absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to get this on the bed, so I need to do I need to do a bit of a bedroom refresh anyway. So when I do that, I will show you. Oh look there, it's meant to be 180 quid. I had a voucher, it's, it was 35 on TK Maxx, so yeah, I got it for about 20 quid, or just under, which I was made up with. It's stunning, isn't it? So shout out to Helena for popping this on a story, making me buy it. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it, it looks so luxurious. And I'm hoping it will be luxurious It was if it was meant to be 180 quid for one duvet cover and two cushion covers. <laughs> it best be like the softest thing in the world. <laughs> hey guys, so it's a few days later now and I have just finished tidying the kitchen. You know we like blitz everywhere and you can probably hear the dishwasher going as well. So sorry if that's really noisy. But I just realised that I haven't actually shown you my Easter decor that I've got going on in the kitchen. So I will show you around my little Easter sections. I've not got too much going on to be fair. I've not actually had time to think about Easter decor if I'm honest so I've just popped a few little bits out here and there and some new purchases as well so let me show you. So here is my kitchen shelf and dining table area, excuse Jake's coat on the chair but I've got a few little bits of Easter popping up over here. I've got a little white bunny there that's from Hobbycraft and then I've popped the towels from George Asda, Stacey Solomon range on here as well, some little Easter towels, carrots and bunnies, and they're nice and neutral, so they literally go with all my other decor pieces so nicely. And then for the dining room table, I've changed it up slightly, so I used to have a scalloped tray on here, but I've swapped it out for this like low kind of whitewash rattan one, very Neptune vibes, and I've popped the Easter buddy basket from the Stacey Solomon range at George Asda in there as well, with a little, like a little white flower stem coming out, I think that looks really cute, and then over at this side I've just got a little bunny that I got from a small business, it says Happy Easter on it, and then I've got my candle from Just So Interiors, I love these candles with the little brown tag, I just think they look so like country fied, like modern farmhouse vibe, and I've got it on a little candle plate there from Just So Interiors as well. This table runner is from Alter Me Home, I must get questions about it every week, but it is such a beautiful table runner, isn't it? Over this side of the kitchen we've got a few more Eastery bits as well, so I used to have this vase and these stems actually in the living room. Obviously I've just changed the living room display as you guys know, so I've moved it here to the kitchen. The vase is from Neptune, the stems are from Neptune, they're the Gypsophila stems from Neptune, they're so pretty. And I've just popped these little eggs on. I think these ones are white company, I want to say, they're like white jute coloured. And I think these ones were like... When I say like home bargains or B&M or something, something like that. I've got my Matalan jar there, but taking the lid off obviously as a white company dupe that I've mentioned before. Got a little bunny here on the windowsill and then here, I've actually not shown you guys this yet, but it will be coming in another video, but I actually bought it from a garden centre when I went with the girls the other day, but that vlog is coming soon, so I will tell you all about it then. But doesn't it look beautiful on the windowsill? I think it looks so realistic. It comes like this in a nice pot actually, but I've popped it in the Neptune one. Gorgeous, and then I've just got a little egg jar to the side with some chocolate buttons in. Might have one of those now. Mmm, 
over here this is another sneak peek of a future video so this bowl i also got from the garden center isn't it so stunning and is giving me ultimate white company vibes literally white company sells something identical to this and i've just popped some eggs in there how pretty are these eggs again i want to say that these ones are i want to say that the white company and then these ones are all from a small business called Ginny rose home they are beautiful aren't they i get them out every year look at this one so gorgeous so i've just popped a few of them in the bowl for the side of the windowsill and a white company candle there looks very white company vibes isn't it all together and this side of the kitchen is pretty much the same i can't remember when i shared some kitchen styling on youtube i can't remember the last time i did that so i'll just give you a quick whistle stop tour i've got the frame there from trove my two jars i need to like have a little faff around with that area actually kettle i've got my bunny chopping board there that's from homestyle 89 but a while ago i'm not sure it's on the website anymore and there's some little daisies in this rustic pot i love that these daisies are from dunelm this pot could be my favorite pot in the entire world i mean for obvious reasons <laughs> and then on the hob i'm not going to come too close because it does need a clean but i've got the rattan scalloped basket tray there from matalan that jug is from next it's so gorgeous and i've got my neptune dahlias in there as well and a little bunny to the side so I will end the vlog there guys I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video thank you so much for getting to the end of the video if you made it this far please let me know if you did in the comments and I will probably see you for one more video which will be next week and then there might be a little break because I'm kind of getting married so yeah there might be a little break in the video just for a couple of weeks a week or two and then I'll be back with the wedding video probably <laughs> but don't worry we've got like next week's video and then we'll be having a break. So yeah, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.